Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is neutral buoyancy. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a plastic cup, olive oil, rubbing alcohol, water, and an eyedropper. Some safety precautions go in here. Uh, make sure you perform this only under adult supervision. Uh, rubbing alcohol is very poisonous if ingested and is flammable, so keep away from open flame. To set up this experiment, you're gonna need rubbing alcohol, and a plastic cup. So you're gonna pour the rubbing alcohol about halfway full. It doesn't have to be precise, but about halfway. And once you get that done, then we are going to add the olive oil. So just go ahead and get your olive oil. Um, I don't think it matters if it's light or regular. I pour it in a cup because I'm gonna use an eyedropper. It makes it a little easier than trying to put the eyedropper in the olive oil and contaminating it. So um, then I got the olive oil there in my, uh, cup and I got a cup uh, with mini there with water just regular tap water so what we're going to do is take an eyedropper and we're going to uh, pull out some of the olive oil and we're going to put it in the rubbing alcohol and what it's going to do is it's going to make um, some uh, some really neat uh, spheres um, as you see as they're dropping down little round ones there going down and uh, they'll just sink all the way to the bottom so go ahead and make a whole bunch of those and uh, once we get that done um, it should look something like this i'll come up to the top view so you can see what the the, the olive oil looks like a little, little like clear balls there um, so that's pretty cool and so those are on the bottom you can make more than if you, if you want to now the tricky part is so we're going to start adding water um, if you add it too quick like i am right here it will start popping the olive oil spears so you got to be very careful when you're adding the water um, you can add it drop by drop with an eyedropper uh, that it will take a very long time um, as you're gonna have to do hundreds of drops um, because it will pop the spears if you end up popping too many of the olive oil spears go ahead um, and, it, uh, and add a little bit more they will sink to the bottom but you do not want to put the water in I'm doing a little bit too fast here um, so you want to go a little bit slower and I'll show you how I'm doing it um, before um, I was just doing the eyedroppers. I started pouring it in just to speed it up a little bit, but the eyedroppers are guaranteed that it won't pop them, but uh, you do want to uh, go very slow. So gently, um, if you're going to do without the eyedropper, gently pour it against the side of the cup um, and very slowly drips or um, pouring very slow at a time. Because if you, if you go too fast, it will um, ruin the olive oil. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of going um, this. When you get to a point where you start to get more saturated, then you can start doing drop by drop. Or you can do drop by drop the whole time um, if you want the experiment to completely not destroy all the olive oil. So that's how I do it right here. As you can see, as the water is starting to get in there, the solution is getting a little bit more mixed up. Water and alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And so you can start to see the spheres are starting to become neutral buoyancy. And we're going to see that as we go a little bit more, as I add more and more water. I'm going to start pro pretty soon going to drop by drop um, as we go. But I'm going to explain the science behind this. So the science behind this is the olive oil initially sinks because it's denser than the rubbing alcohol. But however, it is less dense than water. So by adding the water to the alcohol, the density of the water slash alcohol solution gradually increases until it becomes equal to that of the olive oil. At this point, the olive oil will either sink or nor float. It will become suspended in a state of neutral buoyancy. The density of the olive oil is now equal to what the surrounding solutions like fish, submarines, and the Goodyear blimp all experience neutral buoyancy if the density is equal to their surroundings. The olive oil is really interesting to observe because it forms these tiny little spears that we saw earlier when we added to the water. This is because oil does not mix with water due to oil's nonpolar nature. Water molecules are polar, meaning that it contains both a positive and negative end. A nonpolar substance, such as oil, is completely neutral, so it doesn't mi really mix with the polar substance. This property of the oil makes it easy to observe when neutral buoyancy has been achieved, as you can see right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching.